I was homeless for five years. This was six years ago. I had a breakdown and I've had um, support since then. And I now have a flat of my own and I come to Street Voices every week if I can. I've been coming for four years now because um, I enjoy it a lot. It gives me confidence. We had love at our side. I'm 65 and I've been busking in Cambridge for about 35 years and before that I was busking in London. So really, although I've done other jobs like teaching and waitressing and shop work and office work, the thing that's been like a thread that's going through it all is singing and playing the guitar. And I'm still doing it and I still enjoy it. So it's the sort of <clears throat> main occupation I have in my life. Especially now that I'm theoretically retired. No, we would not have each other. Life like that could never be. Good group of people just enjoying each other's company and, and, and listening and playing music and uh, found it a, a sanctuary sometimes to get away because living sometimes on the Arbury, on the estate in Cambridge, it's difficult, especially when you're in a hostel, to get away from everything. When I'm busking, and I meet everybody, alcoholics, drunks, people with mental issues, homeless people, you know, and uh, when I'm cut and drug addicts and alcoholics, so when I come here once a week, I'm with normal people, you know what I mean? Just like going home to my mum, you know what I mean? So it just sort of, uh, it's not an issue with the people I see here. Since I've been coming here, I haven't had to buy a mail for them. It's funny, I don't know how much it is, it's none of my business, but I know that if I want a mail for them, can I just phone up the music shop and, and, and I can go and get one, so I'm grateful for that. But I don't take the nick out of it, I don't sort of like, you know, I get three a week just to come get, no, I'll get one when, I'm ne when it's needed, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah I wouldn't do that. Okay, yeah, I have met some nice people. Come in here, and I'll just carry on coming as long as I can, really. You know what I mean? And you have me. We had love at our side. Uh, well, as I say, I like the, the fact that there's no judgment upon anybody. The, the people from all, all walks of life, they can come and just enjoy it and there's no judgment everybody's treated exactly the same there's no class system all oh, that time would pass and life become strange I like the fact that everybody seems to enjoy it. They get a lot out of it. I love music, always have done. And I really can see how everybody else gets great pleasure from it. And relief from other things. It's time out in a way when you're playing music. When I first started coming, I didn't really like singing with the group, let alone in public. I'd hide away behind everyone, you know. But um, now it's given me a lot more confidence all the time as we go out and do shows and here, and it really has helped me. I think it, it, it shows homeless people perhaps in a, in a light that people are not accustomed to, a group of people who've got, you know, completely disparate backgrounds. Some surprising backgrounds. I was surprised that uh, one of the members was almost at university with me. Uh, a long, long time back. Um, 
we were there around about the same time. And it's just that, that aspect of homelessness that I hadn't really been fully aware of. And I think it's through that, you know, some of the stereotypes, some of the prejudices that people have can be broken down to a certain extent. I'm Kay and I've been leading Street Voices for almost seven years now. It came about because some people living in one of the hostels in Cambridge asked if they could have singing lessons and I started doing a bit of work with them one-to-one -one, um, and it was popular so I was asked if I'd like to lead a group. We decided to give it a go and um, it became Street Voices. Um, after a couple of years, um, Street Voices was taken under the wing of a project called Talking in Tune, which is a local community music project. And um, we've been lucky enough to be able to get grant funding for it ever since. One of the things that I really like about it is that um, some of the people who were members in the early days have continued to come or have come back after there's been a gap. Um, and they kind of feel like once they've been a member then they're, they're always really a member. My main aim for the group really is that we should be able to continue meeting and um, that, that people will know that we'll be there for them. Um, the sorts of people who come to the group have many ups and downs and difficulties in their lives um, and it, it really helps them to have something that they can rely on and somewhere that they can go where they know that they'll be missed if they don't turn up.